Hello and welcome back to another episode of Crafty Concepts with Erin. Today I have a fun card project featuring this officially awesome stamp of the month. Look at all these fun, whimsical fish characters on here and there's some neat sentiments that you can make cards with. You are officially awesome. Birthday fishes make a splash. Lots of fun stuff here. To do today's project, you're going to need a, a piece of white daisy and a piece of glacier. And these are both cut to five and a half by four and a quarter. I have my stitched circle dies here. And I'm going to use the three larger dies. There's one tiny one there. I don't know if you can see it inside the package, but we're using the three larger. And I'm going to position them on my white daisy cardstock, just like so. And adhere these down with a little removable post-it tape and we're going to cut windows in this cardstock here. You only need a little bit of tape so I'll just tear off a piece and use this to secure my last circle here. Now I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine and now we can remove our little windows and this one since it's a perfect circle I can save that with the stitching detail for another project and then removing our third one here and now we have a piece that resembles something like Swiss cheese. But hold on, we're going to put the light side of the glacier cardstock. And then now we're ready to do some stamping. So I have my intense black ink pad and I'm going to use this one because it's a permanent solvent based ink and it will allow me to color with my Spectrum Noir tri-blend markers. If you use regular ink, when you color with alcohol markers, it can kind of reactivate that ink and blur your lines, making your image look not so great. So you definitely want to use a, um, you know, the intense black ink for this. So I have a little piece of coral here and I'm positioning my window and then moving it before I stamp so we can see how the coral is going to peek through the window. And I want another one in the side over here, just like so. And I'm only doing them on the bottom. I'm not going to do this in my upper window because I want it to be like you're looking through, peeking into a scene and the coral would only be on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all my stamping while I have my ink out. And I have a, a just a scrap of white daisy and I'm gonna stamp all of my fish images here. And so we have a little clown fish and I'm going to cut all these out so it doesn't matter. You just use a scrap piece of paper and um, put them on there all clustered together. There's another little fish with a long nose. The only one I know the name of is the clownfish, but these are all really cute. And I've been snorkeling in Hawaii and I've seen a lot of these fish. Um, so I don't know, maybe you guys know the names of these tropical fish. But I love that you can color these in to match your project in whatever color you'd like. You don't have to be literal. You can make them fanciful colors, whatever you want to do. So we're going to use four fish on our project. And then I have this little piece of seaweed and we'll stamp this one as well. Now this set does not have a coordinating die, so I am going to use my micro tip scissors and cut those out. But before I do that, I'm gonna color them. And I have an array of um, the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers. And if you're not familiar with these markers, they have the light, medium, and dark all in one marker, taking the guesswork out of it and making it really easy to give you that shaded look that really brings these images to life. So I colored the dark on the bottom and then we're blending it up with the medium and then I'm going to use my light towards the top. Now for my fish, if you think about fish swimming, the light's coming from above. So they're going to be darker on their underbelly. So I'm using the dark shade and then stretching it up with the medium and then I'll do the lightest on the top to blend everything together just like so. I'm telling you, these markers make it easy. I am by no means a coloring expert, but uh, these kind of make me look like I know what I'm doing. I'm just coloring the tips of his fins with the black there. And these have really fine tips. These images are tiny and I'm able to really color the detail lines in with no difficulty at all. So this is the jade green marker that I'm using for this little fish character here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and he's got stripes on them 
on him and I'm going to use yellow to color those in. You can blend different colors as well. I have the front of this fish yellow and I'm going to color the back half of him with my pale pink marker and blend those two colors together for a different look. You can always look up tropical fish if you need ideas for color options. So I've gone ahead and cut these little characters out and now I am ready to adhere my top cardstock piece, but I'm gonna use a little liquid glue and glue to the bottom front of the seaweed. So we're gonna glue it just like that. So it's gonna give it a very dimensional look when we pop this up on foam. So I have my foam tape adhesive here and we don't have to cover the whole thing, but you do wanna make sure you have enough to where it's not going to be sagging. There is a thick and a thin strip. And here's a little tip for you. When you are cutting those die cut circles, make sure you leave enough room at the top and bottom for your foam tape to fit in there. I like to leave it far enough just a titch away from the edge so you don't see it poking out. You know, you want your card to look good from the side as well as the front. I do have one pair of scissors I designate for sticky stuff, so I'm just trimming it up with those. And before we adhere that down, I have my red shimmer brush, and you saw me squeeze it out on a piece of scrap paper. That's just to get the color and the shimmer flowing. You don't want that to blob out onto your project. That would be super sad. So just squeeze it onto a little bit of scratch paper, and this has a really fine tip, and you can add a shimmery sheen to your projects. This comes in a lot of different colors. Again, for this, I'm using the red and it is going to saturate this coral color just a little bit more and make it vibrant as well as give it that shimmer, which you'll see in the still shots in the end where you can really see the detail. So we're removing our foam tape and then we can go ahead and flip this over, make sure that's dry. And sorry, my head's in the camera just a bit, but I have to make sure that that is lined up there. All right, perfect. So you, I did forget to put a piece of foam tape on the back of my seaweed. So I'm gonna wiggle one in there, which is not the easy way to do it, but that's okay. Better late than never. So remember we glued that to the back of the white layer so it gives it this dimensional look. And now I'm applying foam adhesive to the back of my fish and we're gonna pop these up in the different windows, and then I'm gonna really bring in the wow factor with liquid glass. Since this guy was the biggest, I chose the largest window to put him in, and then I'm arranging the other fish in the other windows, and I like that they're going two different directions there. I think that looks nice. I've gone ahead and created a top folding card and now we're just going to adhere this with tape runner. And sometimes I like to secure the corners with a little glue just for added strength. And then line this up to our card front just like so. I'm gonna open it up and smooth it down really well, make sure everything is adhered. And now we're ready for the liquid glass. So that's the fine tip applicator. You can use that. Um, I actually broke mine and need to order another one. But on your scrap paper there, get a nice drip coming out of the bottle. And then just touch that drip down and you can make small drops or large drops. I like to do both to give it you know, interest and make it look more natural. And then we're literally just putting water drops. And again, Stay tuned to the watch all the way to the end because when you see the still shots, you really see the detail and how this liquid glass effect works on this card. This is also a really cool technique to do if you're doing any type of flowers or botanical stamps, and it gives it like the little dew drops on the petals and is a really neat look as well. So I don't know if you can see, but there's a little wooden sign. And then I did birthday fishes and I stamped on almond cardstock. We're just going to glue this little guy to the bottom and now make this a birthday card. It says birthday fishes. How cute is that? So these enamel dots came with the Seize the Day collection and I'm using the Glacier. I love that there's graduating sizes. So we're gonna use the small, medium, and large and just make a little cluster around our main window here. A little small one, and we want them to appear intentionally random. 
So one large one at the bottom, and I think that looks nice there. If you guys are enjoying my videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and help me grow. I'll have a new video for you every Tuesday and Friday with a bonus one here and there. So here you can really see those little liquid glass drops. They're so pretty. The liquid glass can be used as an adhesive as well, so keep that in mind. It does have a really clear, shiny finish when dry, so you can do liquid glass effects to all sorts of projects. So in showing you that second card, I realized I forgot to put my clear shimmer brush on my fish. We have to have shimmery, shiny fish. So this one is the clear color, and this is my favorite. It's my go-to. You don't have to be careful. You just kind of paint that shimmer on there, and it gives an awesome look. Again, you should use this with the intense black ink because it will reactivate, you know, regular ink. So unless you're really careful and you just get it inside the lines, I do that as well. But again, squeeze it out, get the shimmer going on a piece of scrap paper, and then move it to your projects there. And you're really going to like the finished look that this gives. Look, how fun is that? I love our little glimpse into this underwater world. It's just such a fun, whimsical card. You guys should check out um, hashtag CTMH officially awesome on Instagram because it's there's a ton of ideas that you can use this stamp for all sorts of fun projects. Here's another video that you may enjoy and thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you in the next video.